Robbie Smith, uh, was the lead designer of Deus Ex, uh, part of uh, roughly 20-something person. Uh, the, the hybrid action-adventure role-playing game made originally with the Unreal Engine heavily modified. Um, today what I'm going to do is give you a little bit of an overview of some of the tools that we use to create uh, the game on the design side. Um, in addition to Unreal's uh, powerful editor, Unreal Ed, of course the programmers use compilers and, and, and their various tools. The artists use 3D programs like 3D Studio Max and Lightwave. But on the design side, what we have is a, a program that allows you not only to build environments, uh, to texture them and light them, but also to drop the various game entities in the world, triggers and traps and, and patrol points and characters and vehicles and everything else, and uh, set up their parameters from, from within one tool, one integrated tool. Um, so just quickly, um, I can create a cube in, in, a, in a world that's a vast solid uh, and subtract out that cube. So now we have this one pocket of air in the entire world, which is otherwise just filled. And so now within that cube, I can texture the walls, pick something that looks roughly wall-like, um, find a brick or something. Here we go. This is a concrete wall. This is the same concrete wall with graffiti on it scaled to the wrong size so it repeats four times. But anyway, um, by working in this fashion, carving things out, uh, detailing them in, in some form other than crude primitives like a, a cube, we eventually end up with maps that look like this, for instance. And with this tool, the value of the, of the group working with this tool is in part performance um, to make sure that the game runs well, runs fast, and is not buggy and, and uh, doesn't have too slow a frame rate. Part aesthetics, making sure that it looks good, and, and mainly gameplay, making sure it's fun and there's fictional integrity and all the pieces work together. Um, obviously, a 3D art program is more powerful at creating aesthetic images uh, or aesthetic environments, but it doesn't have the, uh, the gameplay power or the versatility to uh, tweak all the various entities in the world. So I'm going to turn off the lighting so it's all full, full bright um, and run around in the world and just show you. This is a, a warehouse area with a helipad. And uh, there are a lot of things in the world that the player never sees. Little triggers, um, like these interpolation points that show the path of the helicopter when it takes off. Um, and what I'm going to do, every entity in the world, from a character, like we have a, a guy standing over here, Gunther Herman, one of our bad guys, to a helicopter, which you know is sitting on the pad here, to an invisible trigger that dictates, uh, you know, a patrol point, to a trash can or a crate sitting on the ground. Every one of these has a whole host of uh, properties. I can open up the properties and and um, change like the buoyancy of the object, the weight of the object, when it breaks, what kind of pieces it spawns, and every single thing in this in this game editor. Um, is the product of, of someone on the team. When the crate breaks, an audio engineer had to make the sound. Artists had to make the pieces. The programmers had to, to write the code that makes the crate break in the first place. Um, and a designer set up the parameters, like how many pieces are spawned? Do they fall 10 feet away or 5 feet away? Does, uh, do I, should I change this crate so it sinks in the water or floats? What's better for gameplay? Well, if I make the crate float, then the, the player could throw five crates in the water and hop across the river using the crates like uh, stepping stones. So, and that's, that's a good example of the application of all of the, the work of all of these people intended to create gameplay. Anyway, this tool is uh, basically, it, it's, its main use is to cobble together all the pieces that were produced by various people on the project. It's very powerful, very flexible, and it allows to create Deus Ex. Um, also within it, it, it contains aesthetic powers like uh, you set lighting and uh, you add the textures that the artist created to, world, to little buildings and things. You can import things from 3D Studio Max so that uh, you end up with some more complex objects like interesting light poles and things like that. Anyway, this is Unreal Ed and it's, this is the modified version of that we use to create Deus Ex.
but we know where they are. So there's like a little buffer. Why don't you wave your hand?